fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. See? The Master of Shai coming back to earth to set up righteousness. The laws, that's commandments of the Most High. Wherefore, beloved, I'm not talking about everyone. There's only one people that's the beloved of the Most High. And it's not everyone. Who's the beloved of the Most High? Let's prove who the beloved. Wherefore, beloved, who is he talking about? Let's find out. Baruch, the third chapter in the Apocrypha, Baruch 3.36, says, He have found out all the way of knowledge, and have given it unto Jacob, who is the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. So, the beloved are the twelve tribes of Israel. So what does it say? Second Peter 3 and 14, Wherefore, beloved, wherefore, twelve tribes of Israel, seeing that ye look for such things, look for this new heaven, a new heavens, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. See? That's why you look at... Uh, Job, that's where we want to be. Job 5 and 19. Job 5, 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah. In seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And this food shall he say, redeem you from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. That's where you want to be. So I look at uh, it and say, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. So I look at, hold that, get our second Ezra 2 and say, go to second Ezra, the second chapter. This is where you want to be. This is where I want to be. Most I will say, second Ezra 2 and Twenty-seven. Let's see, twenty-six. As for the service whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy numbers. Hear that? The service that the Most High has given to the so-called white man, he says, shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Say, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee. Said the Most High. My hands shall cover thee. So that thy children shall see, shall not see hell. Be joyful, O thou mother. With thy children, for I will deliver thee, said the Most High. See? He said, remember the children that sleep, those that have died, for I will bring them out of the sides of the earth. If you read, you read it again. And show mercy unto them. Most of them say you're going to have mercy on Jacob, but yet choose Israel in Isaiah 14 and 1. For I am merciful, said the Most High Power Almighty. See? So embrace thy children until I come and show mercy unto them. For my wells run over and my grace shall not fall. So that's the good news. So go back to Job 5 and 20. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scores of the tongue. Whatever they say, we're going to be hid from it. Most I will. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. You're not going to be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Let you know the beast going to be eating people up. As we read already. The flesh and their blood. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. And you're going to be happy. 
Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. You know? that? The beast going to be eating people up. It's going to be at peace with those that the most I have chosen, as is chosen, of the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shalt not sin. It's very key. Psalms 91. All this going down is where you want to be. Psalm 91. Verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You're going to abide under the shadow of Mashiach El Shai. I will say of the Most High, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, which is the law, says, commandments, shall be thy shield and buckler. It's going to be our protection. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Let you know at night you can bring in that terror. Nor for the arrow, that's missiles, that fly by day. The missiles are going to be flying in the day. So you're not going to be afraid of this happening. Remember he just said we're going to be laughing at destruction. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noon. They let you know that destruction is going to come at noon. Listen to what it says. A thousand shall fall at thy side. A thousand people are going to fall at our side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. So he says it's not going to come near the chosen of the most high. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You hear that? Now, I mean, we evolve with this fight. You say, we just going to see it. The reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the most high, which is my refuse, even the most high, thy habitation, dwelling with the most high. Before this happened. Can't wait till it happened and say, I'm now going to jump in. The bandwagon with the most high. No, you got to already have this already happening in your life. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. No plague going to come near our dwelling. Most high will. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That's why when you look at Psalms, hold that, get Psalm 34 and 7. He said, the angel of the Most High encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So I say, go get the angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Let me trample these nations under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. We have known the most high name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Hear that? You got to have faith to believe this. So I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hello, y'all. And as we reach his salvation, like it says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness in the face of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. When they see it, they shall be filled with terrible fear. When they see this going down, it shall be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Wisdom of Solomon, 5th chapter. And verse 15 to 16. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Most High, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Most High's hand. For with his right hand, Hamashiach Yahweh shall he cover them. And with his arm shall he protect them. See? 
he shall take to him his jealousy, because his name is Jealous, for complete armor, and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of an helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts, these missiles, that's all we can think of today, go abroad. And from the clouds, it's going to come from the clouds. Remember, you got to look at this. It's going to come from the clouds because he said in Revelation 1 and 7, Revelation 1 and 7, concerning the Mashiach Yabashai, these weapons coming from the clouds, it says, Behold, he coming with clouds. That's the chariots of the Most High. The eye of foes, identified flying objects. Every eye shall see him. So don't worry about nobody saying he's over here, he's over there. Every eye going to see him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail. They're going to be crying because of him. See? So, here he is coming and he's telling you. In uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 21, Then shall the right Amy thunderbolts go abroad and from the clouds. As from a well-drawn bow, shall they fly to the mark. Meaning they're going to hit the mark that they are supposed to hit. And hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone boat, and the water of the sea shall rage against them. So he's not going to drown everybody, but he's going to use the sea to rage against them. And the flood shall cruelly drown them. Yeah, a mighty wind, like a tornado, like a hurricane, shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the throne of the mighty. That's what's promised. Let's go back to Job. The 20th chapter. Verse 9, it said, I also which saw him, the wicked shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. I mean, he's going to be taken out of whatever place that he's living in. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. We're going to receive all their possessions. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it, and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat is his bowels, and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of apps within him, like poisonous snakes. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The most I shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of apps. He shall suck the poison of poisonous snakes. The viper's tongue shall slay him. Poisonous snakes going to kill him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he laboreth for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. That's why you read in Obadiah the 17th chapter going on all their possessions. And he shall not rejoice therein. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have vilely taken away the, a house which he buildeth not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. Remember, all the merchants are going to be crying and welling because they can't get any more of those goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Hear that? I mean, they're going to be fighting each other. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon. That's these missiles. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. 
But you know that bull still is these missiles going to strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body like the silos. They have the missiles in the ground and they open up and the missiles come up. This is all they can describe it as for the time period of when he's writing. It, it is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword, the glittering missiles cometh out of his skull. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. That's nuclear power. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. All those that's left are going to go ill with them. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High. And the head is appointed unto him by the Most High. Once again, this is a portion of a, of a wicked man from the Most High. And the head is appointed unto him by the Most High. Just say the Most High. Job 27 and 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high. And the head is of oppressors which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, he have a lot of children, it says, it is for the sword. And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. You hear that? His widows not going to even cry. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. You say we're going to own all their possessions. And the innocent shall divide the silver. The rich, verse 19, the rich man shall lie down, but he shall not be gathered. He openeth his eyes, and he is not. That's what I say. Maybe he say he ain't going to bury no one no more. No more. He opened his eyes, and he is not. He's going to be ran away from the earth. Terrors take hold on him as waters as tempest steal him away in the night. The east wind, like tornadoes and and Hurricanes carry of him away, and he departed, and as a storm hurled him out of his place. For the most I shall cast upon him and not spare, he would fain flee out of his hand. Men shall clap their hands at him, and shall hiss him out of his place. That's the portion of a wicked man. Because he's in, he's in charge. He's in power. And the most I look at this place as such. Go look at uh, Psalms 82 and 5. They know not. They don't know. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Meaning ignorance. Not knowing. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. See, this earth is out of course. That's why the most I got to bring righteousness on this earth because go to Micah 3 and 1. Micah 3 and 1. And I said, here I pray thee, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Isn't it for us to know judgment, who hate the good and love the evil, <coughs> who pluck off their skin from off them? Sound like cannibalism to me. And their flesh from off their bones, 
who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them? I mean, you look at McDonald's, they never really answered the question. Do you have people mixed among your hamburgers? I've seen a movie uh, set off, set it off, I think it's, uh, or the setup with 50 Cent. And this Edomite shot himself in the head and he took him to this so-called Jewish butcher. He said, you got some meat for me? He brought the Edomite up in there and he chopped him up, put him in this big machine, put him in this crane, dropped him in there. And he came out looking just like hamburger. Pity said, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be eating no hamburger. Check it out. <coughs> As you read here. I mean, there's many reasons why the most are gonna do what he's doing. Micah 3 and 2. Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off them. And they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron, eating us. Then shall they cry unto the Most High, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. See? That's why we got to change. Back to the most high. Before it's too late. First Timothy's four and one. First Timothy's four and one. Now the spirit speaks of expressly. And in the latter times, we're in the last days, people, some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Remember, that's how you know the children of the Most High and the children of the devil. And they're going to be taking heed to the doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, can't move in one way or another. That hot iron, boy, put that mark on you. Shoot, you, ain't, you might as well throw whatever garment it is that that hot iron done burn that print into, that's how their mind's gonna be. See? Forbidden to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which the Most High have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which I believe and know the truth. You go to Leviticus 11th chapter and it'll tell you about the dietary laws. The clean meats and the unclean meats. That's why it says of them which believe, have faith, and know the truth. See? So, the churches go here, and they think that this is talking about you got to do is pray over it, and that's not what it's talking about. You know the truth. The truth is in Psalms 119, 142, that righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And the law is, as far as what's clean and what's unclean, is in Leviticus 11th chapter. For every creature of the Most High is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. I don't mean you just pray over pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, dog, cat, rat. Nah. You better hear what he's saying. For it is sanctified by the word of the Most High in prayer. Don't believe that. I'm going to prove it to you. Go to Isaiah. 66 and 15. Isaiah, the 66th chapter, 15th verse. See, the problem is people don't fear the most high. They think, oh, they just, you don't, you have made up your own power the way you want them to be. Better hear what he's saying. Better hear the word of the most high. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the most high while my shack never shy, because my shack never shy said, I and my father are one in John 10 and 30. For behold, the Most High while Mashiach of Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Over and over again, that's all you've heard all day. 
For by fire and by his sword will the Most High plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Most High shall be many. Now he's going to talk about who he's going to kill. The slain of the Most High shall be many, right? Listen. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, doing what? In the midst, eating swine's flesh, eating pig, eating a hog, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination. That's why I say you go to the Leviticus 11 chapter, it'll tell you what's clean and what's unclean. Anything that's unclean is an abomination, a filthy wicked act, a sin. And the mouse, we're going to be eating the mouse family. Shall be consumed together, said the Messiah. You hear that? He's going to kill you. He's going to burn you up. For I know their works and their thoughts. He know what you're thinking. And he know what you've been doing. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. You're going to come and see the Most High's glory of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And he's going to, as he judge and make war. So, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints, who are the 12 tribes of Israel, of the Most High, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That means that's everlasting life. It's going to last forever and ever and ever. Daniel's. 727 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high who are defined in Psalms 147 no 148 and 14 Psalms 148 and 14 defines who the saints are I know y'all sing that song, but when the saints go marching in, oh, I want to be one of those numbers, but this is who the saints are. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Bible defines itself, answers itself, and defines itself and who the saints are. Psalms 148.14, he also exalted the horn, which is the power, like the bull's horn, the ram's horn, the horn of his people. His is a personal, possessive pronoun showing ownership. His people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto the Most High. Praise ye the Most High. So, going back to Daniel 7, 27. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, the twelve tribes of Israel, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all the minions shall serve and obey him. All the minions, all people are going to serve and obey Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. If you don't do that, you got something for you too. You don't want to. You don't want to serve this big black man or this entity that's coming. Say he ain't going to meet you as a man. You don't want to serve him. This is what he got to say to you. Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yeah those nations shall be utterly wasted see verse 14 the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of the most high the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, we've been forsaken and hated. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shalt suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that I, the Most High, am thy Savior. And I redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass, I will bring gold. And for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace. And thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. 
but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Most High shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy power, thy glory. Mashiach El Shai, our glory. And the Most High going to be that everlasting light to us. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Most High shall be thine everlasting light. And the days of thy morning shall be ended over. Thy people also shall be all righteous. You know? Going to follow the laws, and commandments of the Most High forever and ever and ever. They shall inherit the land forever. As we're reading in Daniel 7 and 18 and Saint Daniel 7 and 27. The branch of my plan. So let nobody tell you you got to go somewhere under some man. The Most High said he's going to do this to us as a nation. He said the branch of my planting. The work of my hands that I may be glorified. He going to do this that he may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand. So a little one of our brothers going to become a thousand. And a small one a strong nation. I the most I will hasten it in this time. Daniel 7, 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, the twelve tribes of Israel, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all the men shall serve and obey him. All the men are going to serve and obey him, or else they're going to perish. They're going to be utterly wasted. Here too is the end of the matter. That's all we're going to say right now. We're going to conclude right there. That's the end of the matter. We sing through this lesson, you know, things that is going to happen. That, that said the most high. We just got to be ready. Continue to keep the law, that's come out of the most high, have the faith in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and be blessed. And if you like further information, you can reach me, Preach Style Wam, at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. If you like to give a donation, be very much appreciated for future works. You can go to shieldofwisdom.me, well it's uh, paypal.me, salakia, forward slash shieldofwisdom. That's paypal.me forward slash shieldofwisdom. Or you can drop a money order in, in the mail at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. And with that, continue, as I said, keep the commandments of the Most High, have the faith in the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and let's get ready to get up out of here. Most High will. Shalom. I'm out.